Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a wear test on the Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation. I've never tried this out, so we are really going to be putting this foundation to the test. It claims to last for 12 hours on the skin, and we're going to be seeing how this foundation blends out, how long it lasts, and seeing if it really lives up to the claims that it says. So that's what we're gonna be testing out today. Let me go ahead and read you guys the details on this foundation. You can only buy it at Ulta. I'm on the Ulta website right now and it says exclusive to Ulta and it retails for $39. So it is pricey. You really wanna make sure that you're getting your money's worth with this foundation because if it's not worth $39 and return it, like this better be amazing. And I got mine in the shade Fair Beige. They have 18 colors on the website and I purchased mine online. And Fair Beige is the fourth color in, which I'm pretty light so I figured it would work for me. I think this might be a little too light. We shall see once I blend it out onto the skin. But this is the shade range. It's actually really hard to buy foundation online and trying to get the right undertone as well is pretty hard. And the packaging is really nice. You do get one fluid ounce in this, so it's no different than like a pump, except this one's just you twist off the top and it comes with like a little protector and there's all your foundation. So the packaging, I like it, but this is not like my preferred method of applying foundation. Like I prefer a pump, even a squeezy tube, or even the ones where it has a wand and you have to get it out. Um, this is like my least favorite packaging, uh, but I mean, it's pretty, it's just, not one of my favorites and let me go ahead and read you guys the claims it says smooth skin is in with radiant full coverage foundation with skin loving ingredients wrapped in a luxurious creamy gel the unique oil free blend of smoothing plumping and pore refining ingredients help brighten skin while moisturizing and blurring the look of fine lines and pores so that's perfect i mean if you have dry skin and since it is oil free it might also work for oily skinned girls and the cooling hyperallergenic gel feels like a drink of water for your skin while masking any redness, dark spots, acne, and even skin tone for 12 hour wear across skin types. It's available in a range of shades to match any skin tone with a soft rose scent and natural radiant finish. And then it also lists like some of the benefits because it does have some really good ingredients in here. But let's just go ahead and get to applying it on my skin. I've already moisturized and I've already applied primer. So because of the packaging of this foundation, I don't want any like bacteria to get in here. Like that's the only problem with these. With pumps, it's easier because no bacteria can get in unless you're like opening it up. So with this, I'm just going to remove the lid and anything that's on the lid, I'm going to take it off with a clean spatula and put it on my mixing tray. I went ahead and applied that much of foundation on my palette. Hopefully that's good enough because I feel like it's a lot. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and apply it onto the skin. I do feel like this is a bit light for me, but if I end up liking it, then I'll just go ahead and get a shade that I like. It does have like a bit of a scent. I can't really pinpoint it. It kind of smells just like skincare. And let's go ahead. Oh yeah, this is actually really light. I would recommend going a bit darker with your foundation because this is extremely light and it's actually pretty full coverage. Like it did a really good job of covering up my redness on my cheeks. And I'm not sure if I like the undertone. I don't feel like it's a neutral undertone. I kind of feel like it has like a pink undertone. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's lighter than my skin I feel that way. I'm liking how it's looking but I'm not liking how my skin is like so so white. But it is giving a really good amount of coverage on the skin. If I like it, like I said, I will go up a shade darker. Because so far it's looking really good and it's blending so easily. And I did have a bit of redness in this area. It didn't really cover it a lot so I'm going to go in with a little bit more. But other than these three areas, 
it covered the rest of my skin beautifully and it does not feel heavy at all on the skin I don't know if I've mentioned that but it's not heavy at all like it actually feels like I don't have anything on the skin it is quite refreshing so this is how much foundation I have left over and on my spatula that was a lot so a little does go a long way now I'm just going to apply concealer and I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. Let me just show you guys how well it covered my redness. I had a bit of redness up here and on my cheeks in this area. And I mean, I think it did a great job of covering it. I always have like redness right here and like sometimes in my chin. And it covered it in like one go. Like I didn't even have to go back with more foundation. So hopefully this wears really good. Because so far I'm pretty impressed. And I normally don't like full coverage foundations. Like, I tend to go more for light and medium foundations. Just because I have such dry skin, I don't like emphasizing my dryness or anything like that. And my skin's actually a mess currently. And I feel like it did a great job of covering everything, but my skin feels so, like, it feels like I just applied moisturizer like it feels really good and normally if my skin's doing really dry and I apply a full coverage foundation then it would really emphasize the texture on my skin the dryness patches because on this side my skin is a little bit like patchy with like the dryness and um I feel like it looks really good like and it feels like it kind of feels like it could set, like it's not sticky. And let's just go ahead and blend out this concealer now. And now I'm just going to set it with my Lottie London translucent powder. And now I'm just setting the rest of my face with my Lottie London translucent powder. And it set really nicely. So right now it is 9 34 a.m. and I have a lot of things I have to do today so I'm gonna finish up my makeup but I can't come back on camera so let me just go ahead and let you guys know how I feel about it at this moment I feel like I don't have any makeup on which is a great thing for a full coverage foundation I really like the formula I hope it can hold up so the smell now that I've said it it's not like potent or anything like that like I don't smell it anymore I like the texture of it it's very like like creamy and it's not liquidy it's a bit thicker but such a little amount goes a long way like the coverage is definitely there it blends easily like that a little bit I applied right here did like pretty much up to here and almost up to here so blendability is great coverage is definitely there um Biggest downfall is price and packaging. Tarte is an expensive brand, but this really better impressed me because $39 is up there in price. Like I could buy anything else that's high end for that amount and have it work out for me. So I really hope it lives up to its claims. The shade range, 18 colors. Um, That's not that great. It's, I'm not that impressed with that. Uh, and their undertones and stuff like that are off so you might not even be able to find your like perfect match I hope if I like it I can you know find my perfect match but other than that as of right now I do like it and now we're just gonna see how it wears throughout the day so if I have time I'll do a couple check-ins and if not then I'll see you guys tonight and let you guys know how this foundation wore throughout the day Hey guys, so it is now 3.33 p.m. and I figured I would do a quick check-in while I'm waiting in my car. I think this foundation is holding up nicely. I do have like the smile lines and I actually have like a bit of creasing right here, which normally doesn't happen. But today I was in the sun for like two hours like we were cleaning and cleaning and cleaning um and I was just out there and it's actually like 95 degrees today so it was really really hot and I'm surprisingly not like that oily around my nose which I mean is good but I'm actually surprised with how it's holding up it doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin like I can touch my skin and nothing comes off so that's good I know I have to probably powder my nose because it's like really oily but 
that sometimes happens. I believe I've had this foundation on for about six hours, so I think it's actually holding up pretty nicely. And the coverage is still there. Like my cheeks had a lot of redness on them today, and it's not showing through. So as of right now, six hours in, I really like it still. I will go ahead and update you guys at night probably around like eight or nine o'clock once I get back home and let you guys know my final thoughts on this foundation. So see you guys then. All right, so I'm back for my final check-in. It is now 9.46 p.m. I believe I've had this foundation on for almost 12 hours, if not 12 hours. Uh, so I've pretty much had this on all day. I'm like so tired. I want to get it off already. And this is what it looks like. I look very oily. The foundation has broken up around my chin. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom you guys in. The foundation has pretty much broken up. My nose is very, very oily, like right here and in my forehead area. Um, in this general area, foundation has broken up. In this part of my cheeks, it has stayed nicely, even though I did go lay down and put one of my boys to bed. So it did stay on well on my cheeks but pretty much everywhere else it's broken up like um I had really bad lines up here earlier like not horrible but I don't usually get those lines up here and like I could just feel like the greasiness on my skin like earlier it didn't feel like I had foundation on and now it's like I can totally tell and I'm so ready to take this off. I'm already in my pajamas. I have my cat ears on because I need to just go wipe this face off. But I need to come back and check in with you guys and just tell you this foundation. I have very dry skin and it did not work out for me. This hybrid gel foundation and I believe it said it claims that it's for all skin types. If you are oily, stay away from this because I'm dry and it makes me look like this after a full day of wearing it. Granted, not a lot of people are going to wear their foundation for almost 12 hours, but when I was in the salon and I worked in the morning, like I'd be getting up at like 5, 6 in the morning to get there by 8 and then I'd probably get off around 3, 2 or 3 and then I still had a whole day ahead of me of things I had to do, grocery shopping, going to the store, what doctor's appointments, whatever. So I mean, when you're working like that, you really need something that's gonna stay on your skin and do a good job, not just break up like this and it's barely midday, you get what I mean? So I feel like this was a complete fail for me. If you have tried out this foundation, let me know if you're dry, oily, combo, let me know uh, what your skin type is and how you like applying it. Brush, beauty blender, blending it in with your fingers, maybe apply too much. But honestly, I liked it up until six hours and then after that, it was like, I can't. I can't have this on my skin anymore but I really wanted to see how it would perform all day granted today was a very hot day it was surprisingly like 93 95 degrees outside and that's just Southern California for you it's hot out here sometimes and or most of the year so you need something that's gonna hold up too and I feel like this after six hours just fell apart on me and I don't know if you guys can really tell or if the camera picked it up but I can tell by the viewfinder I'm very oily and like my cheeks and although it blended out beautifully and it looked nice within the first hour $39 for foundation that I won't be able to really work with is not worth it for me and this actually claims to last for 12 hours or have a 12 hour wear time so it didn't work out for me and um, I'm probably just going to go ahead and return it because $39 is $39. Uh, I can spend that on a ton of different things. This just didn't work out for me and if you love this foundation then let me know how you use it like I had said and also let me know what other foundations you guys would like me to test out. Let me know if you guys like these videos where I test out foundations and let you guys know if they work out or don't work out for me and yeah so don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye